beautiful day today, so I'm gonna try to load these up. Okay. And yeah, we can get a really good look at all of these. Sounds good to me. All right, so checking out everything on the inside. We have some visors that are in good condition. This is actually wiring for the rear tailings, I believe, actually. Trim in good condition, just needs to be polished up. Two horn rings, mirror, hub caps. Stainless steel trim actually looks pretty good. You got some good quality NOS hood hinges as well. Everything's actually here. I'm not looking forward to crawling into the back of this trunk to try to get it unlocked and see what's back there, but only one little spot on the floor is right here. It's a um, little spot right there where they want to do floor shut, but that's an easy fix. Other than that, we also have a VIN tag on here, which is a plus. I think what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to make two trips. Uh, one, of course, to get that to where it needs to go. Um, and I might have to just come back tomorrow and try to get this one up there, too. I love to smell cow shit on a hot day. This one, man, we got to go through this one, though. But... We got some parts for days. So. Let's go ahead and get the red one loaded up and then uh, see what else we got. All right, so we got one of the cars loaded up. Tim's got it secured. We took as many parts as we could off of the white car in terms of interior wise. Um, threw it all in the red car. Including the seat. If y'all want looking for a seat, let me know. But all loaded up, ready to go. As so clear as it's gonna be. Let's get out of here. All right, so this is the red one that we towed from Smith Mountain Lake, Virginia. Went ahead and cleared out and vacuumed everything so John can go ahead and start on the floor once we get the new frame. Um, that's actually all of the trim between both of the cars. Um, the floor is pretty solid, but it's a lot of work. A couple spots that we're gonna have to touch up in the trunk, but all the extra wiring ton of extra lights, rest of the trim. Pretty much all there. Started also removing the fenders. Um, I've been taking, well I just took the fender wet, blah, can't even talk. I went ahead and removed the fender and the wheel well, took that up to 703 cruising. He's going to be doing um, some body work on that and uh, priming it. I'm going to do the same thing for this fender right here, that inner wheel well, and then also on the trunk, excuse me, not the trunk, the hood as well. While uh, getting all that done, went ahead and, sorry if there's light in your face, guys. Went ahead and picked this beauty up right here. Um, I think it's a, well, when I picked it up, it's supposedly a 350 uh, motor with 350 transmission, three-speed automatic. I am going to check, check a couple of the books because I'm um, looking at it. Actually, I think it may be a either 327 or something. It may be a little smaller. I will find out very soon on that. But went ahead and took this over to the car wash the other day. Went ahead and degreased it and also used purple power on it. Looks much better, much cleaner. It's 
sprayed it down, have all new engine parts that are on there. That's going to get updated. There's going to be an update on that very So soon. out of the white car that I picked up, we went ahead and chopped it up. Um, my apologies, I didn't get any content on us chopping it up. We were having too much fun. But we went ahead and removed the frame from the body and this is all that's left the frame is actually getting powder coated well excuse me sandblasted and powder coated right now i did go ahead and clean all of that up and took the parts that i did need from that as well as got a great set of pretty decent bumpers for the red car as well so the original plan was to take the two cars and put them both in well chop them up and splice together a thing for the blue car but turns out the frame on the white one was really good and the body on the red one was in excellent condition so i just decided to go ahead and just build a whole new impala out of the red one and that's gonna actually replace the blue 64 impala lowrider project on this channel um like I said, I'm debating about selling the blue one at the moment. We'll see what happens. Um, it will be sold as a running roller. It's not drivable at the moment. Well, it won't be drivable because you're still going to need brakes and everything too. But um, that's what's up with that. Um, right now, i got to go pick my son up. But um, stay tuned. Hit that like button, share, subscribe. I'll let y'all later.